And it came to pass that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, everyone to his own city. For to disobey the Roman emperor meant certain death. All there were young people and old people. There were the famous and mighty, and some not yet known, but whose names would eventually linger and be no, 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 no. no, it's too late now. There were good people who could ill afford the cruel tax about to be imposed upon them. And there were others. Sir Bobby, the little drummer boy, Aaron. Why, are those animals dancing, Ben Harriman? They certainly are. Faster, old friend, faster. You, Samson, smile. And you, Big Baba, be lighter, happier. Oh, Joshua, you can do better. Oh, with this marble in my show caravan, I will be as rich as Solomon. But it is said. Aaron dislikes all humans. He will not join us feeling this. Why do you think we brought the rope? The little drummer boy, Aaron, fought Ben Harriman and Ali with all his might. He most definitely did not want to join the Troas caravan, a journey into a crowded city. Or it was true. Aaron hated people. All people. No, no! I won't go with you! In my dream. Stop struggling, boy. There is money to be made. Money? We can be rich. Showman, that, and of course you too uh, can provide. But I do not want to go near that mob. I hate people, all people. Do you think I love people? <laughs> what a beautiful world it would be without people. But alas, one must.
must exist with people. And indeed, it is better to be crowded and rich than crowded and poor. Ah. 
powder trust this time. You look pleased by that. Are you ready? I can think of it. No, no, smile. Smile! See? Only a smile pleases the crowd. Smile! Smile! I cannot. Not it. Damn. You stubborn little fool. Then wear a painted one. Then, that's better. When do I go on? Now, before that dope juggles me out of my life savings.
When Aaron came to the entrance of the stable, you could hardly believe what he saw. You are so funny, Isabel. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for him in the inn. Oh, your majesty! You must... He is near death. Oh, lad, there is nothing I can do. But, but you are a king. A mortal king only. But there is a king among kings who would save your little friend. The babe? But I do not understand. It is not necessary that you understand. Go to him. But... I have no gift to bring. Go. Look upon the newborn king. Good job! 